here to unbox my Vardasia box from the Wear Chronicles and it's, whoa, Jesus, I nearly dropped it. But it is like bursting at the rims. It's like full of something in here and I am excited to see what's going to be in this box. And I actually honestly can't remember if I bought this before or after I read Akane because I really like their special edition boxes. So I'm like, hey, I have the other book so I might as well buy it. But then I read Akane and I was kind of like, whoa. That book was kind of lame. So I'm definitely going to read the sequels, but it is good to have the final book. And I'm just excited to get into this box. So first we've got this candle from the book Hangover that says Leandra. 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 I don't even know what half these things are going to mean, honestly. But this is vanilla and caramel. Oh, open. Oh, that is strong scent right there. But look how pretty it is. So pretty. I have no idea what that means. I can't even say it, but it must be important. <laughs> and next we got tote bag. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, so this says, today is the day you show this world what you're made of. Don't let them down. Yay, look, it's so pretty. Oh my God, adding to my collection of tote bags. <laughs> so we have got the spoiler card and it's got a little dragon on it, but I just found out that the Wire Chronicles actually custom made this tote bag because I feel like there wouldn't be mu that much Midorian Chronicles like merch, but we've also got the bookmark with the little dragon on it. When is there a dragon, Vardasia? Is that what I even call it? I don't even know what's going on. So we've got these cute little bookmarks. It's like a dragon and a bat or something. Like a wolf? It's a wolf. So these were custom made for the series as well. Okay, next there is this map of Medora. So you've got everything happening. I don't know if the book actually comes with a map, but that is pretty sweet and that looks quite nice. So that is from Panteria Press, so they made that map. So we've also got this deleted scene from Raylia, which is a Wire Chronicles exclusive, and like it's in its own little booklet. That is so cute. In the original version of Raylia, Alex's parents never ended up in Medora, nor did they learn the truth about her otherworldly adventures. Just before the following words, Darius and Marcel arrives on Alex Dorso and Freya to talk to her parents and offer a justful excuse for her to go back to the International Exchange Academy for a second year. I definitely should read Raylia so I know what's going on. But but lastly, we have the book for Vardasia by Lynette Noni, and what's exciting is this is signed. So in the book, she has written Remember the Light and signed it. I remember looking at her Instagram stories when she was signing these, so that's really cool. And oh my god, Sarah J Mass blurbs that Lynette Noni's books are impossible to put down. So it's funny, Sarah J Mass blurbed this book, but not that many people have read the Midorian Chronicles. Like, I see so many people talk about it, but like, you look at the ratings on Goodreads and there's only like 10,000 or something, so it's just like... What's going on? So I still have to read Raylia, Dracora, Gravel, We Free Heroes, and then I can get to Vardasia. But I do want to read this series. It's just I had a very hard time with Akane, but apparently it gets better. So if I didn't like the first one, I just got to, got to persevere. I probably won't pick it up for a while, though, because I just have so much I'm reading at the moment. And I actually think I'm going to have a really good reading month this month because I'm doing a readathon and then I've got lots of traveling happening. So I'll be able to get audiobooks done and like plane travel when I'm going to Hong Kong. When I get back, I will probably think about picking up this series or at least get to Raylia and then maybe like try and read one month or something. Like, I don't know, but I do want to try and get in. Why is there so many moons? So this is all the stuff we got in the box and I feel like there wasn't that much in here but, but I mean the Midorian Chronicles is a book that doesn't really have much booky merch and the fact that the Wire Chronicles made quite a lot of this is okay. Like I mean I'm not bothered by it but it's just some of the boxes that they do that are special editions. You get so many different things and it's just very generic to have a candle, a tote bag, some bookmarks and a print. So like I definitely think this is probably my least favourite out of the special edition boxes. There is reasons for why there isn't as much merch because it would have been hard to find places to get all this stuff custom made so like disappointed but like i understand it but anyway guys thanks for watching this unboxing i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time bye